Welcome to this installation guide on how to install Zona Modpack. In this video, we show you step by step how to install Zona Modpack, which is one of the easiest modpacks you can install on your PC. Make sure to join our Discord server, we have all the guides and links needed to install Zona. And always use 7zip to install Stalker Anomaly and Zona, which is the best program to unzip these files. Also, make sure to at least have 50 gigabytes of free space on your drive. And Zona only works with DirectX 10 and above. So let's begin. To make the guide easier, I'm going to use steps. Just follow these steps and you will be fine. Step 1 is to make structured folders for Zona. Make a folder called Zona on your drive. And inside this folder, make two other folders. One of the folders call it Stalker Anomaly 1.53. While the other call it Mod Organizer 2 for Zona. Step 2 is to download Stalker Anomaly 1.53. Install Anomaly 1.53 by dragging and dropping all the files into the folder that you made for Stalker Anomaly. Load the game and make sure it works. This is an important step as the game needs to create some file settings that Zona needs to read for the modpack to work correctly. Step 3 we are going to download DLTX which are a bunch of files that will help us load the modpack and reduce conflicts between mods. Without DLTX Zona won't even start. Go to the link for the GitHub to download the LTX. Find releases and find the latest zip file date. Download it. And then open the downloaded zip file. Select all the files and drag them and drop them into your Docker Anomaly game. And say yes to overwrite. Load the game again and verify that DLTX is working correctly. Step 4. Now it's time to install the Mod Organizer 2 for Zona. Download it and once it's finished, open the archive for Mod Organizer 2. Go to the folder you made for Mod Organizer 2 for Zona and select all the files and simply drag and drop again and wait for it to finish once it's done open emoto.exe and you will be greeted with this menu sometimes mod organizer 2 will create an instance automatically for you but you don't want that make sure to delete this instance by pressing the delete instance button and once you are finished Press create new instance, press next and Mbo2 will ask you if you want a global instance or a portable. I recommend you to select the portable as it is a lot easier to use. Now, Mod Organizer 2 will ask you where Stalker Anomaly is installed. Press browse, then click up here on Zona main folder and then select your Stalker Anomaly 1.53 for Zona and press select folder. Next, press and finish to confirm your choices. Now your mod organizer 2 has created two new folders inside of it. One is a mods folder and the other one is the profiles folder. These two folders are very important as they will hold the zona mod pack and the zona mod load order files. Step 5 and we are almost finished. Next you want to download zona mod pack from our discord server downloaded. And once you have finished downloading the pack, open the archive and again drag and drop the mods and profile folders inside your mod organizer too. Be careful not to put them inside another folder by mistake. Drag and drop your mouse into an empty space like I'm doing. Let it go and you will see Zona being installed on your mod organizer too. When the installation has finished, you want to open Mod Organizer 2. You might see that the mods are not active. This is quite normal. You need to set the profiles correctly so that Zona load order will be correct. 
Click on the profiles up here and select the current version for Zona. Right now we have Zona version 1.3, but in the future that might change. Just select this version and once you have selected that mod organizer will automatically set the load order correctly for you. Before we launch the game to test if everything is working correctly, there's another thing that we need to do. And that is we need to delete the cache shader from Stalker Anomaly. And to delete these shaders, go to this Sona Stalker Anomaly that you have. Go to App Data and then find Shader Cache. And then inside it, you'll find this R4 folder. Just delete this folder. And once you have loaded Zona, it will automatically recreate this folder for you. Now it's time to launch the game in debug mode. Although technically we are finished, there's a few more settings that we need to change to make Zona look perfect. Unfortunately, Stalker Anomaly default settings aren't that great and some need to be changed in order to make Zona look good. First of all, we need to press F2 while we are in the main menu. This will take us into a testing area where we can set some settings from there. So as you can see, the game looks a bit dark. This is normal and it is because we need to input some settings in the game's console. From the Discord server, we have a guide with all the graphical settings that you need to change. The first one is this code, which fixes the color grading. I copy it and then I paste it in the game's console. You can also set my luminescence values exactly like mine. There are some other in-game settings that we need to set. The first one is your FOV and HATFOV. HATFOV will make your guns look close to your screen. So I like to set it between 0.65 and 0.75, which makes the guns look at the right distance. Next, we're going to change some graphical settings that are set by default by Stalker Anomaly. We're going to turn off all anti-aliasing settings and filtering because these settings will affect the 3D scopes and if you leave them on, the 3D scopes won't work. Keep scrolling down and you will see the sun options. Turn off sun rays and turn on screen space settings for the sun. This will make your Stalker Zona look a lot more modern and remove the unwanted old graphics. Just below the sun settings, you will also see volumetric lights. Turn these off as they will conflict with the screen space shader graphics that are installed in Zona. While we are still in the testing area, we can also test the 3D scopes. Press F7, enter the debug menu, then press 1 to spawn items. Go to snipers and get this particular sniper. As you can see, the 3D scope is not working at all. We need to go to the options and enable the 3D scopes from the DLTX. Once you are done, press apply. And as you can see, everything works just fine. Hope you stalkers found this tutorial useful. Make sure to like and subscribe as more videos and guides are being made for Zona Modpack. And trust me, you don't want to miss them out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.